Hello and welcome to my channel Being You Now. Today I am doing a reading for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and Cross Watchers. You're welcome. Please be mindful that energy is fluid. So there may be changes in roles and gender. So let's see what Spirit has to say for the Aries Collective. Please just stay till the end. I will be pulling Oracle cards from... Um, Two different decks today I have been guided so I'm really excited to see what comes up and thank you so so much so so much for all your likes subscribes comments they mean the world to me they really really truly do I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart and um, that helps me to keep the channel going so thank you so so much if you would like a personal reading the details will be in the description box so this is a reading for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has in store for you and what does Spirit want to say today. I hope you're keeping well. Let's see what cards are coming out. Really excited. I'm excited because I'm using two decks that I haven't used for a while. So I'm really excited to see what oracle messages come out today as well so let's see okay so i'm just going to bring them here so you can have a look so the first card we have is the seven of pentacles so to me when i see the seven of pentacles it is all about slow and steady it's about growth it's about you have done so much work and now you're looking back and seeing how far you've come. So there are two things about the seven of pentacles. People often only focus on slow and steady wins the race, but it's also good to sometimes I'm getting that someone needs to hear this. Perhaps it's time to just look back at how far you've come. Look back at how much you have achieved. And I know I can say this for myself personally. I'm very good at <laughs> setting goals and moving forward and what I need to do next. And sometimes it takes me a minute to really pause and be true to myself and be like, oh my goodness, have I really truly achieved this, you know, in the last three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, and sometimes even years, because some things do take time to build, particularly when it's to do with long-term goals. So what Spirit is saying here is that if you have been feeling up and down energetically or if you have been wondering why you can't see progress, just perhaps take a moment to see how far you've come because that will put things into perspective and really even change your energy. I feel that this, this may be for someone very specific and may or may not resonate with everybody. So please... Please be mindful if this does not resonate with you, if this is not where you are, it may be for somebody else. But for someone here, I see this, that you're wondering when will you reap the rewards? When will the harvest come? When will you have your Ten of Pentacles moment? And what Spirit is saying is, yes, the Ten of Pentacles, you, you are already at Seven of Pentacles. You are not far from Ten of Pentacles. Keep going. Do not lose faith. Do not question your ability to succeed. Because look at how far you've come. And this is the message that Spirit is saying. Let me clarify what's coming up for the Seven of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please. Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. We can't have half the deck falling for the Seven of Pentacles. So we have the... Two of Cups. Now, Two of Cups can mean two things. This could be in relation to love. So perhaps some of you are wondering, of, I'm doing, you know, now there can be three different stories. <laughs> One is you're doing a lot of work on yourself. And let's not forget that there we have to, we have to always think of ourselves and the love that we give ourselves first and foremost. So self-love. So the first story might be that you are, you are looking back and thinking, oh my goodness, am I like, I'm doing so much personal growth, personal development work. I'm really working on myself. I'm really working on my mindset, my energy, you know, will I ever find love? So that could be you with the seven of pentacles. That could be your story. 
The other story, the second story could be that you are already in a loving relationship and you might be wondering that when will, you know, will there be a commitment? Will there be, you know, you might have been together for a long period of time, you know, could be months, could be a number of years and you're wondering, will we get married or will we, will there be an engagement, you know? Um, will there be some, what's the next step of the relationship? And it doesn't even have to do with getting married or getting engaged. It could also be, will we buy a house together perhaps, you know? So you might, that could be your story. And then the third story would, could, could be not to do with love, but partnership. You're looking at your pentacles and you're like, okay, is now a time to have partnership and perhaps, you know, get an investor or get um, someone who is expert in their field. Perhaps it's marketing. This is just, you know, whatever the case may be, it could be to do with a business venture. It could be to do with an idea. It could be to do with um, getting funding. You want to get, you know, if you want, if you want to start a project, but you don't have the funds, you may have, you may be working and partnering with someone. So the two of cups could have any of those, any, any of those, Meanings when you're looking at your pentacles, you're like, okay, I've gone as far as I can. What is next? What is the next level of commitment? And that's what I'm seeing here. So, oops, that's 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 what I'm seeing here for you. So that you could be in any of those three stories, or you may have a totally different story when it comes to this. Could be you are you know you are focusing on your pentacles, and the fourth story could be you focusing on your pentacles, and all of a sudden. Hey, you get an offer of love and it's something that is long term. Let's see if there's anything else that wants to clarify this. Yeah, so there is something, as I said earlier, with the seven of pentacles, you are feeling stuck in your own, you know, you are feeling stuck looking, you're probably feeling stuck and this can be easily removed. You can see she can easily put the swords down and remove the blindfold. So I really feel with the seven of pentacles, the more you reflect, the more you go back, the more you focus on how far you've come as opposed to just what's next, what's, what's next, what's next. That's where you'll get the momentum because, okay, so spirit has clarified this whole situation. Now. <laughs> so spirit is saying, saying is that you are focusing on what's in front of you because you're not clearly seeing something that they want to show to you. So say, for example, if you two focus on be like, okay, I'm at seven of pentacles. Now, I don't know how to get to 10. I really do not know how to get to 10. So because you're so focused on just getting to 10, you haven't focused on, okay, how far have you come? What were the things you had to do? Because that trip down memory lane may clarify, oh, okay, I needed, you know, at this point in time, I needed help from X, Y, Z, or at that point in time, I had to change my approach. So what spirit is saying is that don't feel stuck, do a bit of, you know, take some time out and really, really, you've got options, you've got choices, but you are choosing to stay stuck in the current situation because you're not seeing something clearly. So if you take out time for yourself and make time to reflect the answer will appear and you will be able, you know, whether it's in the sense of getting an investor on board, board or it could be hiring an expert to do help you with your marketing or, you know, or it could be that, you know, you, you start, you're like, oh, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm going to do, go to this event. And the next thing you know, you meet the person who sweeps you off your feet. So any of those things are possible for you. So I'm really loving how, the storyline is coming through and then we have the six of cups so six of cups is you know family and it's it's a very it's it's all of nostalgia feeling this um joy you know joy happiness childhood memories um taking a trip down memory lane so let's see what is this in relation to i really feel like um family is coming up quite a lot i just I'm getting this vision and this may or may not be your story that there's just a lot of family gatherings and weddings and social events. I just see a lot of social events and you reconnecting with people that you may have lost connection with for a while. But let's see what this is um, in relation to. So please clarify the six of cups. We do have the knight of swords, so I'm not sure if this could be someone from the past, but we will. Yes. Yeah, so. 
Okay, so we whilst we don't have um just going to do that. We've got the temperance card. Now temperance now with the temperance card coming up and then we've got the six of pentacles. I feel like saying that whilst there will be a lot of invitations and um, opportunities to socialize, to go to events, to go, you know, meet with family, make sure that you are taking time out for yourself and you're also healing yourself. And for some of you, uh, I'm also picking up with the temperance, balance in giving and taking. And with the temperance card, now this is for someone very specific. This may or may not be to do with you. With the temperance and the six of cups, I feel like there could be some healing that might be required with a family member. So there may be things that may be strained with a family member that are not going so well. And although the six of cups is a happy nostalgia card, it could be signifying family or close connection or relationship um, where there may be, you know, maybe it's not, you're not on the best of terms. So what spirit is saying is that make sure you are gentle with yourself. Exercise compassion and self-love and self-care for yourself. Um, you know, it's very easy to always say yes to everything, but also check in with yourself and how you're feeling at that moment in time. And the reason for that is because we've got the six of pentacles. Now, the six of pentacles, you can see here that in the figure, the, the, there is he's giving the pentacles to one, but not the other. So I feel like spirit is saying to you that you may have lots of commitments and it's about you being true to you about which commitments you want to honor, but at the same time, honoring your truth coming from a place of balance, truth and healing and love for yourself. So this is a very important message, very, um, very nurturing and healing message. And I also feel like for some of you, this could be a very healing time, maybe with the temperance card and this six of pentacles, maybe, you know, you have, you have looked back at what's happened in the past and you've had a ch change and a shift in perspective. Um, and there is an opportunity to heal the relationship because here with the temperance card, you can see there is the angel um, as well. So with the angel in the card, and this is Sagittarius energy. So you could be, you know, with Sagittarius or there may be Sagittarius in your chart. Um, so you can see that there's this big angel wings. So they could be, they could be, and there is sun, sun almost coming up from behind, from behind the figure as well, right here. So, you know, it could be that there is new aha or shift in perspective in terms of a relationship from the past that is actually healing. And um, there is a shift in perspective. So that's also really, really beautiful because that means that now you can be together in a different light and, um, and have this level of understanding and love for each other, which perhaps you previously didn't. So that's a very beautiful reading. Now, Knight of Swords. So let's see what this Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, he's coming very quickly. So let's see what this Knight of Swords is about. It's, I feel like there is a message coming. What is this Knight of Swords spirit? Oh, so this could be something from the past. You might hear from someone from the past. So there could be a message from someone in the past. And we've got eight of cups. So it's like you're walking away. You, you are walking away from whatever this message is. Can we get more clarity on this? Knight of Swords and the... Okay. So there has been a painful ending. And some of you might be hearing from someone from the past. And the... The six of cups could also be signifying that connection, relationship, person, friendship. Um, you will be hearing or there will be some form of communication and it's coming very quickly. Perhaps, you know, it's your birthday or oh, happy birthday, Aries, if it's your birthday. <laughs> um, so, you know, it could be your birthday or it could be something that warrants and all of a sudden you didn't expect to hear from them. And you've already, I feel like you've already walked away from this situation, person, experience because we do have the ending with the 10 of swords. So that cycle has ended. So what's the advice? Let's see. What's the advice for Aries? What does Aries need to know and to do in this situation? Lots of sword energy. So you might be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Yes. So 
spirit is saying something will be offered to you so they may make an offer that um you know let's catch up um or if it's romantic they may even say hey you know i really had to think about what happened in the past i really regret it because of the six of cups that we had earlier um and then they're feeling at loss and they want you back in your in their life let's see what else does aries need to know what's aries what's the advice for aries in this situation i really feel like spirit is saying that you know you have free will in this situation and let's see well the eight of wands normally i don't read um reversals but the eight of wands was in reverse so usually when the eight of wands is upright it's like it's fast it's going quickly i think that whatever this is it even if it goes it won't be to the momentum or level that you want or whatever the offer is it's not going to be that appealing is what i'm getting yeah i think that this offer is like we've we've got 10 of swords now we've got the eight of swords i think you already know that you're going to feel stuck in this energy um yeah and at the bottom of the deck i have i have five of wands so i feel like this this person connection will just remind you of the past and how stuck you felt in that situation in that circumstance and how challenging it was and um even though the cup cup is offered to you in the four of cups you've got your arms crossed and at the bottom of the deck i also have this so um i see that you will be you will be closing yourself up that no i'm not available is what i'm seeing and that's the guidance that i'm getting um from spirit and um finally they see you as the empress whoever this person is sees you as the empress they see you as someone who's got everything you've got you've got it together i feel like they did not expect or think that you would be able to handle yourself the way you've handled yourself in the situation the experience and they are baffled as as to how how are you even going and how are you glowing you know they can just see this massive glow up in your energy and vibe and that's what's attracting them so quickly towards you and um what i'm getting from spirit is that time has passed and you've come back to the empress you've come back to the empress that you are male or female this is about energy the energy of empress she's abundant she's lush she's got everything she has worked really really hard and that's something that most people forget about the empress energy you know that she has worked hard to attain all the things she's achieved now all of a sudden this person the knight of swords can see that you are back at that you know you are comfortable you're confident you're glowing you are magnetic you're attractive so they are attracted to your energy and you know i feel like they haven't done as much work as you have because here from the from the start there has been a story you have been working hard from the seven of pentacles working hard on yourself on your beliefs on your healing on your worth on your you know mindset and really focusing on healing yourself and this person hasn't done all the work and now they want to reap the rewards because they see you as someone who's abundant who's got their shiz together <laughs> you know and uh, they're just wondering how did you do it how did you do it and how how are you so fine about everything and they are still not fine they are still not stable which is why they're bringing their instability back to the relationship um which is why we've got you know the four of cups the ten of swords the ten of swords to me is like do you even want to go there and with the four of pentacles and um the four of pentacles and the five of wands i really feel like you've ended the cycle and you're in a good place so let's pick some other cards so today i i was drawn to oh I don't know if I'm meant to be. Yeah. So these three before, like I shuffle these cards, but these three just jumped right out. So I'm going to have to, the universe really wants to talk. <laughs> so, and no surprise, the first card is purification. So it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Now, the reason why I love this purification card is because something from the past is wanting to rear its head back into your life and i think spirit here is saying it's time for you to just release and let go you have come back to yourself in the empress energy you are happy 
vibrant, healthy, magnetic, attractive, and you deserve to attract someone at that same level. Whatever was in the past needs to be released and left in the past. So I really, really love that for you. Okay, so I love this. Golden opportunity. So something new is coming. So there's something new coming your way. And I love this because we can't attract new things and call into new things in our life if we are still stuck into the past and the past energy because that's still holding you back at some level, but most mostly at energetic level. And sometimes we don't understand or realize that and it could be mental, it could be emotional, you know. So what Spirit is saying is that purify yourself so this you can receive this golden opportunity with an op with open arms and open heart, like moving away from the Four of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, right? Because in the Four of Pentacles, your heart is closed. In the Two of Swords, your heart is closed. So it's time to open your heart, your soul to all these new beginnings that's coming your way. It says important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Yes, yes, yes. I am so excited. I love this. Okay, so... This card is saying go outside and I love this because again, I love how spirit just, you know, everything just connects with each other. So you know how with this, we started the reading with the seven of pentacles, which was all about growth, which was all about, um, you know, looking at the pentacles. So perhaps as, as you are taking the time out for yourself, if possible, depending on where you live, you could go for a walk, get, get some fresh air, even if it's around the block. If you're by nature or have a park nearby or the beach or a lake, you know, you will get so much value and clarity just from connecting with nature and having a change of scenery and getting some fresh air. So spirit is really encouraging you to go outside and really connect so that when you connect with nature, it will become, and nature is actually, I love this. I really love this. I'm so excited. Nature is also really, really amazing at purifying energy. So when we are in nature, when we are surrounded by birds, trees, you know, soil, Mother Earth, we are connecting so much deeper to, to not only the current, but also the galactic and the universe. So going in nature will also help you to purify. And this is all about releasing and letting go so that you can make time space energy for new things to come in so i love this it says yeah you have been indoors too long go outside and get some fresh air that's what this card says so i really love this and this is a love deck the power of love deck so it was really interesting i was tuning into which card which decks to pick for today and these two i haven't used on the channel before so i'm really excited and it was interesting that this car, this deck kept coming up and I was trying, like the other day I was wondering whether I should use this deck and I had a strong no. And today it was like, yep, use this deck. Spirit is amazing. So let's see what's coming out. Ownership. Oh my goodness. I love this. So I will read this. It says, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them at all as lessons. So I love this because here with with the past trying to raise its head it's about i think spirit is just reminding that we acknowledge we acknowledge what has happened in our life what has you know what good bad experiences that we go through but the key of key for us is to focus on the lessons and the learnings and in this situation you know when you move away you purify yourself and you open yourself up to new opportunities you are actually, you you are also saying to spirit, you've learned the lesson. And once you learn the lesson, you don't go back and keep learning the same lesson because you've already learned it. If this reading has resonated, please do hit the like, subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know the next time I do a reading. Joy, I love this card. I love this card. So I do readings on myself every day as well. And today my card was Joy. So I'm so excited. And I'm also Aries, by the way. And this card says, you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. 
joy is such a high vibration, you know, and sometimes we forget. So bring some joy to your life, have fun, connect deeper within yourself. And the more joy you have, the more joy you will attract. And as you attract more joy, opportunities will just come flying through your door and being and remaining as an empress will be super, super easy. So thank you so much for joining me. I so appreciate all your likes, subscribes and comments, and I will see you next time.